Today we're taking a look at Ethereum's ETH coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see ETH go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome into the ETH chart guys. If you'd like to buy ETH or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. As you can see, things are looking much better since we last, I suppose, took a look at it a few days ago. We're sitting currently at a value of $2,801 per ETH. And interestingly enough, the trend that we had in place, this little wedge formation, it has now been broken out of. We are currently sitting just above that point right now. Furthermore, we've broken through our 20 day and our 50 day moving averages and it's looking like that 20 day is starting to curve up. So our prediction that we would you know, test this point was absolutely correct. But we thought this breakout would fail, but it hasn't actually failed. It looks like it still could be in play. Now that's not to say we might not see it you know, come back down in and do something similar to this, that is possible and it's something you need to be mindful of. But at present, it looks like on the 17th of March, ETH bounced off the top end of that downtrend. And now today, we're seeing a bit of a hammer pattern form. And a hammer pattern is, or a hammer candle, I should say, is a bullish candle. Hopefully, it does turn green because that's when it's bullish. But regardless, still a relatively bullish candle that we are seeing at the moment. We haven't even come down as low as to test that point. So all in all, things are looking very strong at this point in time. Now, we've also broken through that horizontal point of support sitting at about 2,750. So I'm just gonna extend that one out a bit so we can see exactly where that's sitting. Beautiful. And given that we are now above, obviously, this point here at 2,750, our next target is that 3,000 and 80 odd marks. So I'm gonna extend this one out as well, make it about probably the same length. And there we go. Put that one in place. As you can see, major, major point of price action in the past. So moving up in this sort of a direction, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Although I still believe that it is possible that, you know, if something happens or people freak out, the overall crypto market might drop, we might drop back into this triangle before testing and then breaking out again. Not too sure, we'll see what happens. But based on what we're currently seeing at the moment, we've broken out and for the second day, it looks like we're probably going to close above this key point of resistance and outside of this pattern. So this is now acting as support for us. And what I'm hoping we see is now a bit of a movement upwards, of course, over to this 3080 mark and a test of it. How long that will take, not too sure. Really, I suppose, does depend what happens over the next few days. We need the volume to start coming in. Now, obviously, as we zoom out, you can see volume has been declining whilst obviously, you know, relatively mild. On a day-by-day -day basis, you can see overall, it has certainly been declining with a few outliers. We're at a point now where things are getting tight. And when things get tight, things explode, it coils, it springs up. And I'm hoping what we see is the MACD is also reflecting that. And we have the MACD, we have the cross, we're ready for that explosion. We've had our three green days, our confirmation, of course, two closes almost, or one close and one potential close today, outside of the downtrending pattern, that could be a catalyst for us to see ETH explode up to this next point of resistance at 3080. Taking a look at the RSI as well, let's have a look at that. You can see the RSI at this point in time is sitting at 53.90, so basically smack bang in the middle. We have plenty of room to break out. So let's see if it occurs. There is, I suppose, all the indicators here showing that we've got the potential to do so. All in all, price target for today's video, well, Quite simply, it is going to be maintain this support level that we've now got in place, this horizontal support level at 2750, and then test, if possible, 3080. That would be the ultimate goal.
That wraps up today's analysis on Ethereum's ETH coin, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.